because just listen. Hey guys, what's up? So, tonight is the night that I will be packing to go and get my breast augmentation. I know I told you guys that I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about my surgery or not, but I decided to just go ahead and talk about it and vlog it because I was gonna vlog it regardless and I'm just like it doesn't matter if I put it now or later people are gonna talk shit about it regardless and I'm gonna make a whole in-depth video of like why I got it why I wanted to go through with it and everything like once I get to Florida so yeah I'm going to Florida I am getting a breast augmentation <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this but I can't believe I'm putting this out there like this is like oh my god like I wouldn't think that I would be doing this but yes I'm getting a breast augmentation and I'm getting it on Wednesday, August 12th. But I have to be there the day before for consultation and everything. My consultation is at 2, I land at 10. So I have enough time to check into my Airbnb and get settled and everything. So right now I'm packing. I'm gonna show you guys what it is that I'm packing. I will go into that as to why I'm getting it, but I promise you, I promise you, I am not getting this for anybody else but me i know people say it all the time but i'm truly not i was not influenced by social media this is something that i wanted before instagram was even instagram like where before there was ever an instagram i thought about this like literally since i was like 13 or 12 i wanted this okay so before i had cable and i was able to see keeping up with the kardashians and kim k's and all that other stuff this is something that i always noticed that i had less than the other girls you know we went through puberty i always noticed that i had less breasts than other girls that were around me so this is not something this is something that i have been thinking about for years over a decade of whether or not i want to get it um there's like this study or whatever that women stopped developing at 18 i waited until after i was 18 waited until after i was 20 something like maybe if i gain weight i'll gain breast i didn't i didn't and this is not to promote breast augmentation to, breast, to promote surgery whatever it is i'm not here to promote that i'm just trying to be as educational as possible for anyone who is interested in getting breast augmentation um i saw a couple of videos and in the videos there's certain things that i wish that they spoke more about and certain things i wish that they, they included so i'm just going to try to be as informative as possible and the videos that i did see whatever it was that they were missing that i wish that they had that i learned from research that maybe people may not because most people find YouTube as their research, but I actually read like articles, doctors, like on websites, multiple consultations um, over the years. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to include everything as much in, in this video as much as possible. So yeah, so I'm packing right now. Let me show you guys what I have out here so far. Um, it's still some things that are missing, but I'm just gonna show you guys what's here. Whew. This is a mess right now. <laughs> So let's not mind this okay first things that you're gonna need wipes okay these are dove go fresh deodorant wipes i don't know if it's meant for the full body or it says formulated to care for skin and help wipe away odor they say that it's like good for like the gym and stuff like that so i feel like it would work for all over you cannot take a shower for the first like three days or so because you cannot get your stitches wet so i'm using this to wipe down it came in a pack of three on amazon i'll leave the links to everything down below so i have these three i really don't need all three so i think i'm just gonna go with two and leave this one here i really don't need two either but just in case because i don't know how much i need for my full body so i'm gonna bring two dow soap antibacterial soap you need to shower with antibacterial soap the day before my doctor hasn't told me this but this is just the research that i know two up to like two days to a day before so i'm going to shower with it today tomorrow day before my surgery and on surgery day no lotion no deodorant no perfume no jewelry no nothing okay now that wash your hair make sure everything is squeaky clean everything so i have antibacterial soap I have a pill planner. Um, this is for when I get my prescriptions. You know, my arm movements isn't going to be like 
I can't move my arms <laughs> and stuff. So I just want to make sure that I have all my pills and everything planned out and ready for me to take. I'll know like it's a.m. and p.m. So I'll know like when to take my pills and I won't forget. And once, you know, I finish an a.m. and I start on the p.m., I'll fill up my a.m.s and then finish my p.m.s, you know, just for like that. It's easier this way. Um, I also got a band. This is a boob band. The paper is somewhere. Let me go get it. It's from Everyday Medical to stabilize and reduce breast movements and pain, helps push down implants into, spa into place, stabilizes and balances the position of breast after breast augmentation. So I got this for that. My doctor didn't, like I said, I haven't had a consultation with my doctor yet. Um, so they haven't really told me what it is I need to get, but I get I got this because I've seen people wear this and they say that it helps. Um, their doctors have told them that it helps them put it in place. I'm gonna ask my doctor about it, whether he feels like I should use it or not. And if he feels like it's, you know, I shouldn't get it or, I mean I shouldn't use it then I won't use it but it's there and I also got it for like when I work out once I'm clear to work out and I go back into the gym I don't want my implants to really be moving around too much so I'll use that to hold my implants down now I got Arnica um, this is basically um, a pill that helps with um, a natural pill that helps with what you see here muscle pain stiffness swelling um and it helps to prevent bruising and help with bruising as well um i also got laxative because after surgery you are always constipated so i got laxative for that purpose i got some ice packs this is a double ice pack that i got from amazon i'll just pop that into the freezer the night before so that it is cold and i'll be able to put the ice packs on my breasts um and then i also got a bag like a caddy this is like a baby caddy, like usually which you put like diapers and bottles and stuff in. But I'm going to put all of my, like these things in here. Well, not all of these things, but like the pill, the laxative, the um, arnica, my prescriptions that I get, water, my straws, crackers, just so it's right next to me. The Airbnb that we will be staying at, um, it has like a layout couch, I call it. I don't know the technical, the technical name for it, but it's basically a layout couch. Um... And for clothing, they say to wear something comfortable. So I'm going to be wearing like a Victoria's Secret bot, not Victoria's Secret, a Juicy Couture um, sweatsuit because it's sweatpants and a zip up hoodie is super easy. Um, and then I also have a robe as well. I also have a robe for like when I'm at home and I don't wanna have like the freaking sweater on all the time. So I have a robe, I'm gonna bring two cause I don't wanna wear one robe for five days. Um, so I'm going to bring two. I have this one and I have my black one. It's in my drawer. I'll put it out soon. Um, so, yeah. i not too sure if I'm going to wear this one. Well, I'll wear this one like the day after, like my post-op appointment. I'll wear this, my sweater with a zip-up or whatever. They'll give you a post-surgical post bra, so you'll wear that when you under or whatever um, i'm bringing pjs because i don't know maybe i'll be more comfortable in that than i will in the juicy couture sweatsuit because it is hot and it is florida which is hot but they do say that after you get out of anesthesia you're very very cold the anesthesia makes you very cold so i'm keeping that in mind as well um and you know i don't know how chilly i'm gonna be but yeah i'm not gonna sleep i'm just gonna sleep on the plane um and then just get like a really really good night's rest the day before like i'm gonna tire myself out so that the night before i sleep like a baby because i don't sleep well um i haven't really slept very well and oh yeah what i've noticed is that a lot of people um surgery is very early in the morning like six o'clock in the morning and i know that i'm a person that is really it's really hard for me to fall asleep early and i don't want to be super exhausted before i go into surgery i want to get a good night's rest so I'm gonna deprive myself of sleep tonight so that tomorrow I sleep like a baby. Um, yeah, okay. So also, I am also bringing bio oil. My, I think my bio oil is in my bag. This is not the bio oil that I'll be bringing, but I don't know if it's under, it's 4.2 fluid ounces. Hopefully I get away with it. Usually sometimes I get away with it, but now because of COVID, I know people are like extra strict, but hopefully I get away with it. So yeah, I'm bringing bio oil because you are gonna get stretch marks, but I don't know when he's gonna clear me for massages. So yeah, so I'm gonna use bio, bio oil because you may get stretch marks. I mean, and I'm prone to stretch marks, so I'm sure that I'm gonna get stretch marks. So I'm just trying to prevent as much stretch marks as possible. 
Hey guys, so it is now 4.56 in the morning. Um, it is now 4.56 in the morning. Um, our flight is at 7.15. I was trying to get to the airport at this timing, but even if I'm at the airport by like 5.30ish, 6 o'clock, I should still be good. Um, because it's so early in the morning, there's really like no cars or Ubers. It took us like 15 minutes to even get this Uber to her house so she could come to me. But yeah, I'm dressed. I am wearing my Juicy Couture sweatsuit. Um, I ended up, this is actually not the one that I wanted to wear, but I ended up just wearing this one and then I packed an extra like zip up one in my bag, I mean in my suitcase. And then, well I have, yeah, two zip ups. This is, this will be the third one. Um, I have a button up as well. I'm um, just gonna ask my doctor which one he feels is better for, you know, the surgery. Um, and I have two robes. I think I told you guys this already, but yeah, I'm tired. Let me get some water. I'm tired, okay guys? Like, I'm exhausted. Ooh. Yeah, um, I will come back on here when it, we are at the airport. I didn't get a chance to edit my video. I'll probably edit it when I'm on the plane. Probably not, but I can edit it tomorrow. I have time tomorrow after my um, pre-op appointment, so like my consultation. Um, so I'll have time to edit tomorrow. So I'll edit it tomorrow if I'm not able to edit it today. Oh, ooh, this line got long behind us. We're at the airport. This is Taji. We're gonna have an official introduction really soon. I don't know when because this listen. I'm gonna insert that clip in the beginning of the video and then we're just gonna continue from there. We're trying to wait for food. Our flight board's in like 30 minutes, maybe. Literally 30 minutes and we're hoping that we can get food. I doubt it. Do you wanna just walk all the way down to the other Duncan and just get a tea? And I think that's better than this. Mm -hmm. You got it. It might be. But I feel like that was like a 30 minute walk. I might be dragging it. It's no food there though. It's just yeah, like no it's um, um it's donut. Donut. We're gonna have to take an L either that or miss our flight. Okay, we're trying to get food, but I don't think that we're gonna be able to get food because our flight was in 30 minutes. I'm so mad we went down to our gate and did something else there. Oh. Wait, did you get a piece in here? Hmm? You got a piece in? Oh yeah, I did. When? Um Saturday. I remember you saying that you was gonna do it, but damn, <laughs> sis, that was quick. But we'll get back on here when it's when I'm on the plane or when we're in Florida. Bye, guys. I'm here. Okay, let me go inside because it's two or three, and my um, consultation was at two. Okay, now it's time for you to be the director. Behind the camera is Taj Mahal, <laughs> Taji. T drizzle, I don't know all the names. T money, you T heard? money. <laughs> consultation right now. Yeah, right I could only imagine how you're going to feel for surgery then, like, oh my god. No, I feel like surgery day, I feel like I'm going to be calmer. <laughs> After I have this consultation, I'm going to be calmer because, like, okay, cool. I'll have all my things together. Yeah, but I feel like I'm going to be calmer. Like, I'm going to be able to try them on, see how they will look. Be like, am I going to go with it or not? I'm going to kind of have to because, like, 
Airbnb. So, so we better be here. <laughs> it better be happening. We just came to tell you that, you know, she's gonna do it another time. <laughs> These are silicone <laughs> implants. Well, this is one type. I know they're different types. I don't know if this is high profile or not. I think it is. But it does feel very like jelly and like titties. It doesn't really, <laughs> I don't know if it moves like titties. This is the gummy bear um, textured. But yeah, I'm gonna try some on and see which ones I like. This is saline. I don't like saline. Mm -mm. Just give me a water balloon for all of that. Yeah. Like this feels like a water balloon. <laughs> wow, this is huge. This is big for 275. <laughs> Okay, first of all, this is not the same size. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah, it is. This is 275s and 250s. Ooh. I like this. Okay. I don't think I want to go bigger than this. I, I really like this. Okay, It's not too go. big. What? Like it's not too much. It's like Summer Walker. Fuck that. You talking about you want your shit? Are you gonna get it? No. Hell no. Exactly. But I definitely don't. I do. Like I would love for my breasts to to fit my hips. Like you know. Yeah. I feel like I don't want to go. I like it. I like it. Three fifty. I don't think I want. What is that one? Three seventy five. This is three hundred and three and two seventy five. I like it. Put some bigger ones in. I want to see. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh my god, this one's just a 350? That's crazy. Oh, wow. What is that? 325s? Honestly, though, I like them. <laughs> Every single one you put in so far, I love them. I think this is, my, this is the size I like. 325 with 300s. I like it. Like, it's... Big enough for me to be like, okay, I got titties. Yes, <laughs> that look good. And you know, once I lose some weight, it'd be like. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely the ones. Okay, make them jiggle for the camera. <laughs> oh. This is like how my titties would be after I have kids. Wow. No, that's huge. Dang. This is something we woke up. Yeah, like yeah, this that's definitely Summer Walker. Walker. That's facts. Dang, no, that's Italian. that's Summer Maybe Walker. Yo, <laughs> this is, yeah, this is <laughs> I like these. Which one is that? 375? This is. Four hundred and three seventy-five. Mm. So maybe I should do three fifties. What I wanted to originally do. Maybe you should do the fifties. Now, if my titties get big, I'm gonna look like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to come back and be like, hey, sir, um, can you please help me? <clears throat> Hey guys, I don't think I said this earlier, but make sure that you comment, like, subscribe to my channel for more videos and to keep up with all my videos. So I'm back home. I just got back from my consultation. Um, my doctor was not open with me sharing while well, recording him while we were doing the consultation, which sucks a little bit just on the part of like, I really wanted to just show you guys what it, you know, the process is or whatever. But basically I'm going to explain it here. All he did was, um, and if I didn't tell you guys where I'm going to get my plastic surgery, I'm going to um, Western Plastic Surgery, Dr. Robert Rothfield. Um, he is in Western Florida. And yeah, so I have my measurements and stuff all in here. So that's basically what he did in the consultation. He basically, you know, showed me where he 
like how he takes his measurements you know whether to put the implant inside or outside the muscle where they put the incisions and everything so they have all of that as well as my actual measurements of my breast um and which i already kind of knew and i didn't know this up until i sat there and took a picture of my breast that one breast was a little bit smaller than the other i thought that because my breasts were relatively small that i wouldn't really be dealing with that but hey um so yeah so this is just information just on breast augmentation like everything that you need to know about breast augmentation he gives you that um and then all of this paperwork is the paperwork for the actual breast procedure they give you supplements that you're not supposed to take before and after surgery a list literally a list of um cover root a list of stuff that you're not supposed to take like as pills you're not supposed to take that like vitamin e pills and all the um, complications it could possibly cause in surgery if you take these pills. So you're not supposed to take these pills at least two weeks before our surgery. You're not supposed to take any um, NSAIDs, which is basically like anti-inflammatory pills, like Aleve or um, what else is the NSAID? I know Aleve is one, Advil, like that. So you're not supposed to take that. Tylenol is fine if you have any type of pain, but you're not supposed to take any type of NSAIDs two weeks before your surgery. I am getting, getting Mentor Memory Gel Breast Implants. Um, I'm getting them under the muscle, um, through the infirm, infirmary, whatever that word is, in the crease of my boob, under the muscle. That is what I'm doing. And when you get... Um, well, this particular, I'm, I'm pretty sure with all breast implants, you have a lifetime warranty. Um, you also have a protection plan. So the protection plan um, for Mentor, you have, you could pay 300, you pay an extra $300. Um, it covers capsular contractions, back of grade three and four, double capsule and late seroma. Is I do know of capsular contraction. Um, you get that capsular contraction is basically when a hard tissue forms around your breast implant. Tissue forms around your breast implant no matter what. That is inevitable. However, it's supposed to be very thin, like almost like paper like thin. When it becomes super hard, um, it can shift your breast implants up or down. It can just cause complications. It will basically look like an infection um in your breasts so you can pay the extra 300 dollars. it will cover an implant replacement for up to 10 years um with up to 3500 dollars um financial assistance like within that 10 years so they guarantee that your your implants are supposed to last for 10 years if within that 10 years time time frame or time span something happens to your breast implants um the company will give you 3500 dollars to go towards a, another surgery and will cover the cost of the actual implant and how much it costs so you will end up paying re relatively lower than how much you paid originally to get your boobs done but I'm not too sure of how much doctors cost for ex extracting or is it explanting explanting an implant so I don't know let's talk about pricing my total cost I can't even believe I spent this much on freaking boobs my total cost for breath for my augmentation, everything all together is $69.62. Um, yeah, that, it's, it's nothing else to add on to that. That's with taxes, surgical fees, and when you are when you are like um, trying to find a doctor for you know your surgery. I personally, in the beginning, was trying to look for someone who was kind of in the middle because I know the standard price for breast augmentation is $5,500. That's what I was willing to spend. When I saw that this doctor, I was, well, first of all, one, I just fell in love with his work. And then I, you know, reached out to him and I found out that his price was like $1,000, almost $2,000 more than what I wanted to spend for my boobs. I was taken aback and I wanted to just go with my second choice because I was just like, at the end of the day, like I also like his work as well. And I just don't want to spend that much money. But I knew in my heart of heart, even if I went to the other doctor and I loved what I had, I would have probably in the back of my mind been like, oh, it probably would have been better if I went to this doctor, you know, like second guessing it. But now that I went to the doctor that I really wanted, however the hell it comes out, that's just what I'm going to have to take. If I don't like it, that's on me. I already spent the money. It's already out of my account at this point. 
So we're just gonna close our eyes and act like we spent $7 and that's 7K, okay? Then it comes with pre-operative like instructions and post-op instructions and COVID precautions, all of that stuff, okay? That's pretty much everything that happened in the consultation. Nothing else really happened. And we tried on some testers. I tried on some testers and was able to try out like, you know, implants. I decided to go with 325 cc's. Originally, I wanted 350s, but I was just like, the difference between 350s and 325s is not that big. But low key, high key, I want to tell him to just do 300s and let's just keep it yes. And let's just keep it there because I just don't want my breast to look too big. Like that's my main worry. I know he, he reassured me, you're annoying. I mean, he said that if 325 doesn't, it looks too big or like doesn't like the view of it or whatever, he's gonna go down, but he's not going to go higher than 325. I hope he keeps that because if I wake up and he tells me that I have 400s or 350s in my, in my tits, I'm gonna be tight. <laughs> well, we put this look a little better on. I'm gonna be so tight because what they say is that they if they put um sizers in you and then like they sit you up and they see how it looks and if they like the way it looks or you know it's giving the look of the image or the picture that you send, then you know that or well, the picture that you give as an example of how you want your breast to look, then they're gonna go with that. But if they feel like they have to go a little bit bigger, a little bit lower, make one breast bigger than the other, they'll know that when you are on the table. So I just don't want to wake up and they tell me that they put 450 cc's or 400 with 350 cc's <laughs> in my titties. Cause I told you that I did not want nothing more than 325s, okay? So let's just keep it there. <sighs> and yeah, I just finished packing like my little caddy, like my, it's, ba it's basically a baby bag that I just filled with stuff in it that I'm just gonna sit next to me when Taji leaves because she will be leaving me tomorrow night. My boyfriend will be coming tomorrow night, but I'm gonna be, yeah. Oh no, no, it's not. no Thursday night. She's gonna be Thursday night. She'll be in tomorrow. Um, but my boyfriend's gonna be coming th Thursday night as well. Um, but yeah, between the time ends because they're both leaving and coming at the same time. So I'm gonna be by myself for like a good like four hours or so. I just hope that I'm just sleeping. So I'm not that way. By the time I wake up. I'm still with somebody. And we just want to go like that. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my caddy, like how it looks all together. So it's really just like everything that I need. My water is still in the refrigerator because I just want them to be cold. And I'll just put them in here before I go to my surgery because surgery, he says, is usually gonna be like an hour to maybe an hour and a half. So I have my wipes in here because I can't wash myself. You know that, right? We have some heating pads. Tachi put me on this, so hopefully. It works. She's gonna have to apply it because I cannot place this on my back. Mm -hmm. um, I have some popcorn, some kettle corn popcorn. It's sweet and salty for like if I feel nauseous. I know a lot of people do crackers, but I don't like crackers and I'm not gonna eat crackers. And I know that I, I know when I'm nauseous, I want something that's like at least a little sweet so that it takes away the nausea. So hopefully this do, does that. I have my arnica in here. I have some bio oil to massage my breasts to try to prevent as much stretch marks as possible. Um, I have my pills already organized in here from the date of my surgery on. So basically my surgery is gonna be on Wednesday, so I have morning and night from Wednesday on, and then I have two for Sunday, and then one extra pill like on Monday morning. And the extra pill is the, I believe it's the muscle relaxers. So the muscle relaxers are the small one and the antibiotics are the red ones. So I put those two here. But the painkiller is the code, the codone. Um, I left this in here because I'm, I'm only gonna wanna take it the first day, so I'm gonna put one in there for the first day. And if I need more, I'll go in and take it. But depending on how painful it is to open this, I will decide for myself, is it gonna be more painful to open this bottle or sit here and take this pain that I think is painful. If the opening of the bottle is more painful than what I feel on my titty, then it's not worth me taking this pill. And that's what I'm gonna use to like, wager whether or not, whether or not I'm gonna take this pill. And I have some scar cream, some scar tape, some straws, and my dial soap, which really doesn't need to be in here because once I take a shower, I'm gonna put it there. My toothbrush, I have this just right next to me just so like, you know, I'm getting to brush my teeth at least. So yeah, that is what's in here. My um, 
My titty, my titty wrap, I have that as well. My breast stabilizer, I have that. I'm gonna ask my surgeon if he feels like it's necessary, but I see a lot of people say that this helps bring your boobs down quicker, so I'll use that as well. And that's it. So I was a little nervous at first. I am still a little nervous, and it's not more so like nervous because I'm scared to go under the knife. Honestly, that part does not scare me at all. It's the part of like, after three months, am I going to be completely, utterly happy, no questions asked about my breasts? That's, that's just it. Because it's not like I was one of those girls that had A cups and didn't have nothing and like, not even A cups. Because even some A cup girls we have in some titties. But like, I'm talking about like, I had a mosquito bite on my tit, and which is just my nipple. Like, it's not like I just had a nipple and chest. I had some breast there, so I could have lived without it. I just wanted it. So the fact that I could have lived without it always makes me, like even when I was like, I, right before I put my money down, I was just like, yo, like, I don't even know if I want this anymore <laughs> because it's just like, I don't need, I don't need this, but it's a 7K, it's the 7K for me, okay? Because I don't, why am I spending $7,000 to go up one bra size? That's the thing, that's the killer. Like if I was going from an A cup to a C cup, I can understand $7,000, but I'm going from a B cup to a C cup. I'm spending $7,000 to go one cup size more. I better be happy, I swear to God. I swear to God, I better be happy. I'ma pray and that's what I'ma do, I'ma pray. Cause that's all I can do. I'm, put, I'm literally risking my titty, my, the life of my tit in another man's hands and that's just that and let's just hope that it comes out exactly how I want it to come out. Cause if it don't, I'm coming right back to Western Florida and I'm taking his ass upside and down. And that's it. But yeah, that is all. Um, I am about to shower and go to sleep because I am tired, like literally drained. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. My surgery timing is at 10. So we're gonna have to leave here at like nine. I can't eat after 12 o'clock. So I just had some stew chicken, rice and beans. Yeah, rice and beans, not peas, beans. From a Caribbean restaurant that was near here. Pretty good. I was hungry, so I don't know if I'm gonna feel the same way about that food tomorrow when I heat it up. Cause usually the second day is what really determines whether the food is good or not. So <laughs> it was pretty good. So I'll see, but I'll be eating that tomorrow. I don't know. But yeah, I'll hop back on here tomorrow. When I'm about to go into my surgery, when I leave out my surgery, Taji's gonna record me being high as hell. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel. Hopefully I can talk, because I don't think I do, I'm gonna do well on these drugs. But and even drugs, the anesthesia. I don't think I'm gonna do well waking up from anesthesia. Not in a bad way, but just like, I feel like it's gonna be like, you know those videos when people get their teeth pulled and they come out talking mad bullshit? I feel like that's gonna be me. So, we'll see. Okay, see y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's the morning of surgery. It is like nine something right now. We're about to leave the house because my surgery's at 10 o'clock. It's 30 minutes away from here, so I wanna leave here by 9.30. Um, I look dry because I am dry. Um, I just finished like getting out of the shower, washing my hands. My hands are ashy. I'm well, washing my body, wash my face. I'm um, had to use dial soap like I told you guys before. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a zip up hoodie just so it's like easy to put on and take off. They said either a zip up or a button up. Um, this is, I feel like this is really comfortable. I brought like three different outfits just in case if I want to change because you want to keep your outfit clean. And I just have on like pajama pants. They're really loose. I got these from Victoria's Secret. Um, and this is just my Juicy Couture top. I'm wearing like my little bonnet tucked in or whatever. But yeah, um, this is the last time. I didn't wear a bra or I didn't wear a shirt or anything to kind of show you guys like how my breast is. But this is... It like this. This is pretty much. I'm not pushing it up or anything. I'm literally just holding my um, sweater back. But this is pretty much like the size of my breast right now. Um, I'm gonna 
B, C, like a full B, a small C. So I wanna go one size up. So I wanna be a full C, small D, mainly a C cup. Um, I wanna have space when I wear like a D cup. I told him that. So I don't wanna go any higher than the 325s. So I told him, if anything, we could go lower. I'm fine with that, but I don't wanna go any higher than that because I don't want like really big breasts. Um, so yeah. Time is near. I wish I brought like my wife beater to actually show you guys how my breasts look, but I'll show the insert clips and stuff. I mean, I have a picture on Instagram of me wearing a bathing suit, and you guys can kind of see my breasts there. I don't have really small breasts, um, especially when I wear certain bathing suits to make my titties look bigger. But I just wanted something that like would even out my body. I'm not going too big because I feel like I don't need that much more. Um, breasts I just feel like I want more cleavage so I'm just going a size that will give me enough cleavage and a little extra like oomph but like I'm not going I don't want to go any bigger than this so yeah we'll see I'm about to take oh I don't think I can take um water I can't have any liquids but I'm about to put some arnica under my tongue um because that just dissolves without anything so you can't have anything in your system you can't eat anything nothing like that so yep after this, you guys will be seeing me after surgery. Well, I'll try to see if I can take you guys along with me while I'm going into the surgery place. But I feel like after that, because they don't even want anybody like near the medical office because of COVID. So um, my friend is going to be sitting, Saji's going to be sitting outside in the waiting room. So when I come out to her, then I guess she'll see me. Or if they invite her into the back, I don't know how they're going to do that. But we'll see. Okay. I'm not that nervous anymore. I'm just ready for it to get over with at this point. <laughs> Alright, bye. Come with me, leave all of your things, yeah. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Come with me, fly you out to Greece. Full speed, so pull it belly. Yeah. Come with me, leave all of your things, yeah. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Come with me, fly you out to Greece. Full speed, so pull it belly. Come with me, leave all of your things, yeah. Stop it, Gucci, stop it, Louis V. Yeah. Come on, me, fly you out to be full speed. So, pull it belly. So, Fanta, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm getting a little nervous now. I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous a little bit now. This is hot. You guys are gonna see how recording me while I'm recording. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'm good. Okay, this is it. Get up, touch your toes, get everything in. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes, you're getting that good stretching. Honestly, like that's just fucking scary because, yes, you can't do that after. Oh my goodness. And that's the best stretch right there. 